Hello, today we are going through a manual password reset process for a Dahua network camera, assuming three options to do that. And behind that prompt, you can see Dahua cameras and OnVR or XVR firmware update. You're on the People Systems Store channel. My name is Daniel. We begin. Subscribe to People Systems YouTube channel and get your special offer on every deal. If we are looking for the way to reset password for Dahua appliance, well, that means our task is a restoration of a default factory settings. So this is where this manual is heading to. So there is three relevant ways to reset password for Dahua network camera. And if you forgot password, well, actually. Number one, locate a reset button on the body of device or inside of it. You might need to unscrew the cover. Number two, use the device's web interface or Dahua's config tool and your phone with IDMSS or GDMSS app to initiate a password reset via QR code, but it works only if initially you specified your email address when you were activating your device, and well, you still have access to that email. Option number three, unfortunately, is the most time-consuming one, but is 100% verified. It assumes that you extract an XML file from a camera's via DAWA config tool and then sending it to your local distributor from whom you purchased a device or to DAWA support in your country or a nearest one to it. And you can find a timestamps for every option in a video description. Option number one is that normally with bullet body type network camera, well, we've had such screwed cover located on the well, bottom part of the device. That is actually quite easy to open with a regular crosshatch screwdriver. But first, unplug the power supply. My camera's POE. Now I'm getting my screwdriver. I got this tool from IMO, which is a sub brand of Dawa. And well, easily unscrewing it to reveal that there is a micro SD card input and also the reset button. But well, there are exceptions. Exceptions, these cameras that don't have such button, don't have such micro SD card input. I actually hope you can see it. So if that's your type, well, go straight to the option number two and three. But normally you've got this screwed cover under which you've got button and the micro SD card input. With dumb type body cameras, this button is usually hidden inside of the body, but well, it's not hard to get inside either. I mean, find your camera's box and with a high probability, you will find there a proper screwdriver to, well, get inside the camera's body. Let's hope I did it correctly. Yeah, like this one. Although, yeah, you can see I'm using my own, oh, my own one from the kit that I've got from IMO. So yeah, we've got three screws holding the upper part and top on the basement. So yeah, we just unscrew it up to reveal this. And now you gotta inspect that plate, that board on the bottom to find, well, the similar bottom that I've got here. I really hope you can see it. Here is it. You can even click it and I'm sure you hear the sound. So inspect your camera board, well, at least all the functional parts, to find a similar button from the point where you found the reset button with your, your Dahua camera, like I did here or here, uh, unplug the power, well, if you didn't do that, because I did. And now, press this button until you hear that kind of click sound and hold it, well, with a finger or any other tool. And don't release the finger. While holding the button, plug the power back to the camera. There we go. And keep holding it this button for 30 or 20 or more seconds, exactly in this order. And if done right and you succeeded, when you will open the config tool software and search for devices within your subnet, you will see an initialized status on your camera. And well, this is what you need. Now activate it and set up as a new device. If it turns out that your camera doesn't have the uh, reset button on body, like this, the bullet type camera, or inside of the body was like dumb type camera, well, you've got left only two options, but well, they're not bad too. So option number two is the one we're looking to now. And it assumes that when you're activating your camera, either body, dumb type, 
either the bullet, either home camera, either whatever. The PTZ doesn't matter too. So when you are activating, it assumes that you specified the recovering email address that can be turned around in the future used by Dahua to send you a security code needed to reset a password. So if you've done this, we're continuing this part. So that's the first item. Second item that you do, you go into App Store, you go into Google Play and get the iDMSS Plus or DMSS app for your iPhone. And if you have an Android, that app will be called GDMSS and available for free in the Google Play Market. And after that, we go straight to a PC. Now from this moment, we need the IP address of our device. So this is my camera, the HIPC HFW2431, and here is that IP address. And now we go into the browser and insert it. There we go, we got the username, but all right, we're here, right about this, the password. We press the got password, we agree, confirming, and this is the thing, you see. The QR code that we have to scan, option number one, please download the MSS and then from more reset device password, scan the left QR code. Or scan it anyway, but then send it to support RPWD global download attack. And as you can see, the security code will be delivered to I people systems. So that's the thing. That's what we do. We prep our phone, we go into our DMSS app from here. We go into me, password security, and press reset device password. And now we just point it to our phone, to our computer. Oh, that's what I meant. Wait in a bit. Request resetting password successfully that you can probably see if we put a phone over there, I guess. Our camera guy does, not me. Press OK. Now, uh, we should receive the uh, email under the spec very specified earlier email that we've got. Let's see. I don't have anything yet, but all right, we'll have, we'll, we'll receive the code that we then insert to this security code. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go for your device. And this is the thing. Now you copy it, go back to browser and insert it right over here without dot and press next and now you go here you create a password and that's done now the second way with the computer here is a config tool there is the so open it up and here on the first tab you will see all the devices located well <laughs> not located you can see all the equipment uh, within your subnet. I've got three and here's the camera that I need. The H, IPC, HMW, 2431 with this IP address. Now, on the left column, I'm gonna go to item number four. I wanna take it here opposite to the name on the left, check, and press reset. Confirm, agree, and well, you've got this. The same stuff is happening here. You grab your phone, you scan this QR code, and then you receive the uh, the password to your email address that says the security code that you input here and right away creating a new password pressing ok and you're done so we address the option number three well if there's nothing else left and unfortunately the previous ones are unavailable and here we need to extract a specific XML file out of the camera to send it to the super service. And as every camera is usually being activated via DAO's config tool software, you probably have it installed on your computer and your camera has an initialized status in there. So now this is what you do now. Open up a config tool and you will be able to see all the equipment within your subnet. Now, go to the item number 4 in the left column, locate your device here, and at the end of the line, press reset, agree, and here at the top, press this bar and select XML file, agree again, select path, I'm choosing my download folder, and press next. You will see a success message, and from this point, you need to send this XML file to the company from which you have purchased a camera. And actually, note that you must not close the config tool, unplug a power supply, or disconnect a camera from a network while you are waiting for the, well, for the response 
with a modified XML file. So contact your company's technical support by phone or email. Briefly describe your situation and attach this XML file. They usually require you to specify an ODI ID, your name and your email address to make sure that you are a device owner. So actually, that's not your option. Contacting a DAO support in your country or a nearest one to it should do the thing, but only if the camera was certified. And of course, we always take this kind of requests from our customers. And in the end, you'll receive an email with the XML file attached that you save onto your computer. Go back into config tool, press open and now locate that file, named result and press next then. Create new password now and replicate it once again. And if done right, the next thing you will see will be a success message and the pop-up will, will vanish. Now your camera is restored. Activate it again, afterwards with a new password that you probably won't forget this time. If you purchased your camera or recorder or anything from us, we can help you reset password for it or a better firmware or other. Just contact our technical support on the People Systems website. And we can also help you select your perfect camera or camera system, recorders, alarm systems. Follow the link in the description and specify you are a People subscriber to get a better offer. And also, if you ever need help, you got questions and any descriptions of your tasks, they are always welcome in the comment section below the video. And not a single one will go unanswered. Thank you for watching.